Hey guys, how's it going? Retro Dave back again with another Terminator video, pinball video. Um, got some more bits and pieces for it this time. Um, I've actually ordered some mods for Terminator. I've been really hitting the machine, um, obviously working on it, giving it a clean up, new bulbs, um, and I've ordered some mods for it. In fact, I've just left rid of, I've got two down the side. Let me show you these. So we've got, the first thing I'll show you is we've got some side blades that go on the inside of the play field at the sides here. <coughs> now they're currently rolled up, um, but I'll just unroll it and give you an idea of what it's going to look like. So, do you see that? So these art blades will go down the side of the play field. And obviously the pattern matches all the artwork on the cabinet. So like uh, all these like lines and stuff all match. You can get like mirror blades and stuff like that as well, but I've decided to go with the artwork. I think it looked pretty cool. So we're gonna get that on, not right now, um, but I will be doing it probably tomorrow. But got the um, art blades. Now the bits I've got in this box, I've got um, a couple of things, just a couple of apron cards, can you see that? So it's got the rules and then just a, it tells you what the game is really. Um, let me show you. In there at the moment. Just show you. See that? Got these kind of bland, silvery ones. So we're gonna take those out and put the new ones in. That's gonna be a two second job. Now, the really, really cool things, um, the mod I got for the getaway, the helicopter, um, the same guy um, does mods for all kinds of machines, and he also had these, and I thought, well, I'm gonna go all out with this Terminator, because it's a game I really wanted to get, and I really wanna make it really nice. I mean, the LEDs have absolutely transformed the look of the game, totally, totally transformed it. And I think these mods, you would probably argue they probably should have been there from the factory, that's how cool they are. So I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll work our way up from the, the most subtle to the most outrageous, okay? So I'll build, build a bit of height. So this, um, poor sand on my bulbs, um, <coughs> may look like a boring bit of plastic, but what this does, I'm not sure if you're about to see this. Can you zoom in? Can we zoom? No. Basically, over here at the back, I'll show you a bit more detail. There's a bit of plastic on this ramp of a, um, of a Terminator with the eyes. Now, all this does is this slots behind that bit of plastic and then lights up the eyes on the ramp. We'll go into more detail and we'll install these and I'll show you. So that's that one. Now, this one's cool, but the last one's my, my favorite. So check this out, guys. This is the nuts. Again, this is all handmade stuff. All oh, right, so check this out. T1000. Check it out, man. Where it's all melted and been shot. There's all LEDs in the, in the holes. Can you see that? Is that focusing? So this goes on the front of this jet bumper here. I'm not sure if you can see that. So this metal plate, again, I'll go in more detail, but this replaces that plate and sits on there. And obviously every time you hit the, uh, what's it called? The uh, targets, I think he flashes, I think. That's what happens anyway. So we've got that one. And then, let's put the band back on, so I'll keep it all together. Now this one's my favorite. How cool is this, guys, really? T800 Terminator. How cool is this? Ignore that wire. These are supposed to be there, almost like he's up like, broken in half. You can like splay these out and make it look all busted and shit. And you can move the arms up, like so. It does come with a gun. So we can put that in his hand if we want. I mean, look at the detail on this. You know, handmade. 
So the eyes are permanently lit red, a little, little LED in the back. And then when you go up the ramp, um, it goes up here, it sits on the top. When you go up the ramp, um, there's LEDs in the body that flash. I just think that looks the bollocks. And I think it's gonna make this game just, all these little extra bits, you could argue really could have been there from factory. That's how cool they are. How cool is that? That's my favorite one. So we're gonna basically get these in. I'm gonna go, I've got the instructions um, and we're just gonna go through it and work it out. I'll start with probably the simplest one at the back and then we'll, um, we'll start poking around at the back and in the middle. So I'll stop the camera, get the bits ready and um, yeah, we'll start fitting. Okay guys, so I've just got the camera put in the play field. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna work through it um, in kind of real time, um, leaving the camera in this position if I can, out of my way. Um, and I'll just kind of like hunt around for my tools and kind of work it out as we go. So I'm gonna start off doing the mod up here on this plastic. So I've got the instructions. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna try and I'm just going to try and follow that and work it out, really. So make sure it's turned off. You've done all that. Da -da -da -da. Make sure machine's turned off. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Glasses out already. Right. So we've got these bolts. So I've got my um, my tool. I've actually got it inside the machine. So the first thing we've got to do, it says, is remove the two screws securing the playfield plastic. Um, I remove the two and loosen the other two. So we'll take these two out. Okay, so it's one. See what I'm gonna do actually, there's a little plastic at the back here. I wanna, I know it says loosen it, but I actually wanna, there's a bit of plastic up here. That's all clear. Right, so I've loosened that plastic. Uh, right, now what's it say? Slide the mod bracket into place, slide the original plastic on top and refit the screws, pick one. Feed the cable under the ramp, out of sight, through the hole in the play field. Where's the hole in the play field? Why is it saying to do that? Can't see the hole in the play field. Why is it showing that then? Ah, right, down there. Okay, so it's down here. This picture here is the skull. And there's the bracket for that skull. So it wants me to poke it through there. Okay. Let's get the uh, mod out of the box. Okay, so that's gonna have to obviously go like that. So does that just go like that? Yeah, you've got to take this off, surely, of Christ, this bit of clear plastic. This bit of um, because you see that through the uh, through the back of it. So I'm gonna take that off of there because that will be completely covered then. So this has got to go through there. to come and find that, that wire a little bit later on. Okay. So where does it want me to tuck all these wires at? Down the back. So slide that on now. Maybe I'll unscrew that a bit more. 
Yep. Okay. So it's fairly simple. Literally just slidey slidey. Just in case you're tidying this little bit of wire up around the back now. So you can't see it. So let's screw this back on. So that goes on there. You have to unscrew these even more now because I see it's double with a double the thickness. lined up winding the other ones so before this lines up all the right guys this is going to look pretty damn pretty damn cool okay get that one there yeah that's decent So you'll see that you'll see these mods and think, yeah, they should have really been there, you know, day one really. So how's that looking? Nice and square here. Yeah. Okay, so that's on. So now I've just got to feed the um, the cable through and do the the fun bit underneath. So I guess we can pull that through and I can just tidy that up in a bit. So let's um let's lift up the play field and find out where that wire's gone. And lift that up a bit. Right, let's find this uh this wire. Oh there it is, I found it. Okay. Oh, I'm not gonna force it. That would be stupid to start yanking on things. So I'm gonna just try and tuck it around there, tuck that down there, tuck that down there. That's so if I can hide it under the ramp a little bit and under that plastic, that's gonna be the best thing. So you don't really see it. We can do that. Um, I'm never going to be able to feed it underneath the back of that ramp completely. That's a that's a fucking dead cert. That is a dead cert. I think. And you can tuck it. Yeah, I'll never be able to feed it round. I'm trying to think if I can try and hide it a little better than um, than what it is now. Put it behind that bit of plastic, perhaps. So we can poke it down the back. We can find a uh, suitable tool to try and pop that behind that bit of plastic. Try that. And then, that's it. If I can hide it. It's a little better than it is now. That's going to be sweet. Tuck that around there. To be totally, do you know what? To be, to be totally honest with you, I've got a new bit of plastic coming on this left side of this skull and here to replace this. So when I actually get round to doing this, when I take this off, I could actually tidy that up better than it is now. I've just fudged it behind that bit of plastic, but when I get this off, I'll be able to get that, get to that a lot easier. So I'm not gonna um, bust my balls now with that. That's good enough at the moment. Okay, so. Got the wire, now where does it go? That's the six million dollar question. Okay, right, hook the crocodile clips to the metal tabs on the GI lamp as in picture three. Red is plus VE and black is negative VE, must connect the right way around for you to work. 
So where is it telling me? So this is the um, top target. I'm not sure if you can see this. Uh, so where is that? Okay, I see that. I see the. Um... Oh right. If you can see that, it's basically crocodile clips onto one of the GI bulbs, which is over here down here out of the way. I mean, to be absolutely honest with you, it could probably go on any of them, um, but I will do the exact one, exactly how it's shown, to be on the safe side. Because um, I do not want to fuck this up. Um, I guess if we could work out which was left or right, I could put it on this one up here. Um, but I'm worried about, because it would make more sense, because there's so much other shit going on down here. To put it on one that I can easily get to and um, all the rest of it let's okay let's just do what it says let's do what it says Dave they have almost picked one that's like the hardest one to fucking get to I swear to god Okay, that's kind of how it wants me to do it. So, just gonna loop that through there like that. Clip that in there like that. Okie dokie. I'll do that a little bit tighter. I'll loop that around one more time. Just so it's nice and loose. Okay. Well guys. It's clipped on, do you know what? Let's just fucking go with it. Let's go with it, right? It's on. I don't know if you can see it. Let me come around and see. Can you even see what I'm doing? Yeah, you can. Basically, go right at the bottom of the machine. It's a bit of a ball ache. I've clipped it on. I've done it exactly the same way around as they've shown me. Okay, let me turn this fucker on and see if it works. Turn it on and hope for the best. Alright, so they're all working. Uh -huh. It's working guys. Let's pull this down nice and steady. Can you see that? That's cool. Simple but cool. Uh, and like you say, you'd almost think that should have been there. On the camera, it looks like it's flashing, but it's not flashing. It's just the refresh on, it, on the LEDs. Um, yeah, they're not actually flashing in, to the lanky dog. Let me turn the light out. Yeah, I can still see it looks like it's flashing, but from here, it looks the bollocks. Yeah, it looks awesome. It looks like it's always been, it always like, lights the back of the ramp up a little bit as well. Wait, right, let's get the next one in. So that's a success. Right. So let's do, um, let's do the T800 and then we'll do this one, I think. Um, in fact, no, fuck it, I'll do this one because I'm stood this side of the machine. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. So, we want these. Gonna need a little spanner and a screwdriver. What size spanner? Is it the one that I've got out that's probably in the machine already? Or is that too big? Far too big. Seems to have another screwdriver out somewhere, another uh, spanner out somewhere. And it's going to be the one I need, isn't it? Right, let's go and find that. I thought you'd go and put it over my desk somewhere. Yep, I found it. It's on the desk from doing the older. 
flippers. Um, screwdriver, screwdriver, screwdriver on the floor. All on the floor. Right, what's the instructions say? Remove the centre lamp holder. What am I doing? Uh, da -da 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 -da. He hasn't really got any written, really much written instructions, to be absolutely honest with you. It's just a picture, so I guess we've just got to go follow the picture. Okay. Don't want to lose that washer down there. So I guess we'll sample like this and it'll all... We'll slide out, I reckon. Probably take the table we'll do. We'll take that off because there's no point in trying to fudge things around, make life more difficult for myself. Unless I really have to. Is it going to fit in there? Is it slightly smaller head? Yeah. Okay. So that's out of the way. Let's do it. Let's do it properly. Obviously, I've just got to keep this um, this little plate for uh, the future. There we go. Put that in the machine at the bottom. Sweet. Right, let's get the old uh, mod out. Exciting stuff, this guy's. I love I love doing this kind of thing. I love tinkering stuff. Um. So it's just basically saying bang, 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 bolt it on. Obviously your wire's got to go between the um, targets, which is nice and easy. So that just goes down there. Like that. So I guess it goes. Goes under like that, that's that screw. That's that screw. Yeah, I see, I see. So the wire's down the back. Yep. Okay. So it goes a bit like that. So let's get that back. Let's get this back one first. So there's actually only one nut, only one nut needed because you're covering the other one. So we just kind of get this one started up. And I can square it off with a screw and washer piece. Now what I'm gonna do, this this little plastic thing, I don't know if that's supposed to even go there. Because I've, I've seen on other machines and it doesn't look like that's even supposed to be there. I swear it goes like somewhere else, like over there. I don't, I don't know. I'll put it back on for now and I can always move it, can't I? I can always move it. I'm just trying to make sure it looks like it's squared up, you know. See, that don't look right to me. That thing, that bit of plastic on there. It really doesn't look right. It really doesn't look right. I swear it's got to go somewhere else. This doesn't make sense why it's on there. There's, there's one at the back. I don't understand what these are even for. If anyone can tell me in the comments, feel free. Oh, I don't understand the whole point of that. That is on. Let's do the nut up. So I actually a little nut to um to keep now. 
a little bag. I'll put that in a little bag with the um, the other metal thing jig. I need to go too crazy on doing that. So that is on, guys. So far, so good. I'm really quite excited to see how this one looks. Been so excited to get this game, honestly, and I've been getting all these bits and pieces for it and um, doing it up very quickly, really. Just want to get it all done, dusted, and finished, and just play it, you know. Get all my bits on. Right. Yeah, let's put my spanner away. It should really nice. Put your tools away when you're finished. So now we've got to follow the instructions on connecting her up, so we can do that in a moment. Get the paper, connector, play field up. Oh man, it looks so cool, doesn't it? Oh mate, that's gonna look the fucking... Oh, that'd be the bolt I forgot to pick up. Always check your, uh, your workspace. Got it. That's a disaster avoided. There we go, right. Put that in there, so you won't make that mistake again. Uh, where are we? Centre bank of targets, there's the wire. That's the wire. So instructions say, remove the centre lamp holder. Replace with new holder, refit bulb in new holder, pick three. So there's our bank of targets. Okay, so it's asking me to do this one. Do that. Set the lamp holder. Pull that out of there for now. Put that in there. Put that in there. You know it's saying about VE and all this positive, negative. Oh. Okay. Um. Positive is on the left. It's going to be red, isn't it? Obviously. So I think it's got to go this way. Like that. And I guess we're going to find out very quickly if I've got it wrong. Is that even in there? Something fucking in there. Don't tell me it goes that way. Why is it so stiff? Why the middle one? Why the worst one, the hardest one to f get out and get in? Lies. All lies. See, I'm there, but it's not. That is not in, surely to Christ, no. I can't fucking tell it. I can't get. I can't get hold of it. Are you serious right now? Just, just, just for shits and giggles, I just want to. Can I get even get it in there? Why is it so stiff? Why is it so stiff? It's the blobs of solder. I swear to God. It can't go in the other way. 
because that would be the wrong way. Again, I'm just taking my fucking time. I want to get it right. Because that needs to go. I don't want to go too mad because I'm actually going to be putting I just changed the LED in there anyway. So I don't want to go too crazy wrenching that up. Pops in there nicely. Well, I'll tell you what. We're just going to test it. We'll just test it. And um, we'll go from there. Once I know it works, I can fucking mess about it later. I think it's just on there. Um, okay, let's... Uh, yeah. It's showing V positive on the left, which is the red one. So, I think, although it's not fully twisted on, I think because there's, there's little solder blobs on the um, on the connector tabs. Let's fire it up. What's going to happen? The bulb is still working. Oh, guys, it's on. It works. Check it out. Look at that. So just face it, it's flashing with the, yeah, it looks fucking really cool, doesn't it? Again, they are flashing. The one at the back isn't. Yeah, it looks really decent. I'm really happy with that. Let's get it out and have a little look and see. From my, my uh, point of view. What do you reckon? Cool, isn't it? Right, let's get the next one on. Might have to swap sides for this one. Right, yo, let's get the last one in. I'm really pleased with this, going alright so far. Happy days, happy days. Okay, third time. Let's get this next one. Instructions for this one. There's two different sets of connections for this one. All right, let's get our gear out again. We're gonna want screwdrivers. I don't want that jazz. I'll put them over this side. And then we want all the gubbins over here. All right, what's it say? Number one, split the cables at the red connector. Uh, okay, what are we talking about here then? What are you talking about here, son? Okay, there's a bit of a wipeout, really. We can do that. We can do that later. Okay. Uh, split the cables at the red connector and feed the tails between the plastics underneath the ramp and through the hole in the playfield with picture one and picture two. Let's have a look. What's it telling me to do? Ah, okay. So, look, we've got two connectors, guys. This is where I'm getting confused. So we've got these two, it's asking me to put one down one side and one down the other, okay. But which one goes where? So, feed the towers between the plastics underneath the ramp and through the hole in the play field. Remove the screw on top of the plastic ramp, bend the bracket as desired, mount the mod on the ramp. Picture three, pull the excess cable through. So if I can look on the last picture, work out which, um, the longest wire will need to go, so that's below here, that's down to here. So the longer wire is going to want to go down, oh Jesus, that goes at the bottom of the GI. So that's, oh okay. So I think the short one needs to go 
on the left because the GI lamp connector is at the back and then the longer wire, I reckon we need to go this side and go down by the cannon. So, split the cables, feed the towels between the plastic underneath the ramp. Right, and then where's it going? Where's the hole? And through the hole in the playfield, which is going to be at the oh, yes, 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 yes. There's a hole right at the back here, guys. That is where it's going. So, over the back, how the bloody hell are we going to get in there and see? I have no idea. This is going to be fun. This is going to be the fun one. Because I can't see, for one. I can't actually see a thing. I can't see where the hole is. Oh, hang on. Doing it. I'm doing it by feel. I can't actually... towards the front. Is that going anywhere? Nah. Don't reckon it is. Let's have a look. Right, I'm just gonna lift this up and have a look and see exactly where where this hole is that they're referring to right now. So I can have a look and understand it a bit better. Okay. So the hole literally right at the back and it's next to those wires. So how the bloody hell am I gonna get that through there? So we've definitely saved the, uh, the hardest one till last. We've definitely done them in the order of difficulty, without a doubt. Okay. So I can see where they've got to go. Uh, it's just, going to be physically getting the wires down there. That's going to be the fun bit. That is going to be the fun part. Um, can I just try and funnel it down there? Is it in? Is it going down? I, I literally have no idea. I have no idea. Let's put that there. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, sweet. Right, we've got one fed through. So one down, one to go. See that? So, boom, boom, boom. So we've got one. And then this one. So now we've got a poke. This one, I'm doing this totally blind. It's a bit of a, a case of just feeling your way around at the back. Oh, I think I've got it, I think I've got it guys, I think I've got it. Stay there, don't move. Have I got it? Where is it? Where is it? I've got it guys, it's not there. Okay. Mate. 
Hey, this is fun. This is fun. Oh. Come on, I've got one in. Is that it? Is that it? Yes. Yes, sir. Right. We are through. Boom, boom, three the wires, yeah. We can put all that slack. In fact, let's do that now. Let's do that now real quick. Not too tight, but enough. The blue one, we want to, um, the blue one wants to put in a bit more. Okey-dokey. Again, the blue one can go a bit more, but I'll do that in a minute. Right, where's the instructions? Okay. Okey-dokey. So, split the cables, blah, blah, blah. We've done that, and it wants me to connect up one part of it to that. We'll do that in a minute. Remove the screw on top of the plastic. Remove the screw on top of the plastic ramp. Well, we don't have a screw. Bend the T-800 bracket as I mount the mod on the ramp. So, we haven't got a screw. That's fucking great. I'm gonna see if I can find one. I've got a, little, a few little spares in my getaway box. You might be able to find a screw in there. So, you know, I did have a screw, he says. So. There we go. Why you keep all these little odds and sods for uh, exactly this reason. I'm sure I saw, yes, literally the other day, I had a little bag and it had some screws in. There we go. There we go. It's a more of a little bolt, but that's going to do the job. I reckon this is going to do the job. We shall see. In a few seconds, if this is going to fit, if this goes in, it's winner winner chicken dinner. Yes, yes, yes. Little bowl that is going to work. Let's find a getaway somewhere. We have to find where that goes. Okay, bracket. Oh, right. It just says take it out and bend it to the. Remove the screw from the plastic ramp. Bend the bracket. Oh yeah, just bend it round. Okay. Sweet. So we just literally just do that, do we? Why don't we bend it anywhere else? So. Like that. Oh man, how cool is that? That is going to look the fucking business. That is going to look the fucking tits. Look at that, man. Oh, man. I'm excited. I am excited. This is the nuts. Okay. Let's get this on there. I haven't got a magnetic driver. I should have got a magnetic one. 
really, 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 really should have got a magnetic one. Because this is a pain in the ass. Okay. Finger tight. Finger tight. So, it's got to be like in the middle, I reckon. We can always tweak it later, can't we, guys? That is the fucking nuts. That is the nuts. It just looks so cool. I mean, look, you can bend all this wires at the bottom, make it look all busted up. Yes. That is so cool, man. That is so cool. Right. Get to the business part. Let's do the uh, let's do the real bit now. We need the other connectors. Um, so where does it want me to hook it up? Okay, it wants me to put this one on the. GI bowl here at the bottom uh, with the negative on the top, positive on the bottom. Okay, we can do that. Negative on the top. This is going to be them fucking bollocks. This is going to be this is going to be my favourite one because the eyes are going to light up on the GI and then the body's going to flash when we do something else. I'm sure that's how it works. We're going to find out very soon. Again, not a huge fan of crocodile clips if I'm if I'm being really honest. But that is that is um see that one's coming forward already. Right, that's on there. That's on there, and so remove the screw. Yeah, da, 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 da. pull the cable through the plate for underneath and reconnect two connectors. Crocodile clips to the GI bulb. Yep. So which one? It's not telling me which color goes to. Um, Which, see I, well it can only go that way, can't it? Because this is the short one. It can only go this way, basically. There's no other option. Um, because this is the shorter wire. Let's pull that round, just so it's a, not a load of slack. I reckon this is going to look the tits. This is going to look the tits. Right, so where does it want this one? On the red here, yes. And what shot is that? That would be interesting. Red right there, what is that? Million went, ah, million went flashing. Okay. So that will mean, yes, yes, when you roll up that ramp, yeah, it's making sense now. It's making sense. Um, what way round? V positive, V negative. So positive is 
up. Take the bulb out. The bulb holder in the bottom, bulb in here. Again, stiff, but in, I think. Positive is the top. Yes. And here is the wire to go into here. We've got loads of slack, which I don't like. So we're gonna, we're gonna get rid of that and put that in here. I'll feed it through. Yeah, don't want too much slack. Not good. Right. I think this is the moment of truth, guys. Okay, guys, are we ready? This is the moment of truth. Ready? Boom. <laughs> it's on. Look at that. Oh man. That is so cool. That is the nuts. Let me turn that off. What? Let me get out of here. Unreal. How cool is that? This looks, I mean, it's flashing for you, but it's not for me. Man, those mods should have been there from day one. Really, really happy with that. Really, really happy with those. It's so cool, man. Yeah, buzzing. Just drop those cards in and we're done. And we'll have a game. Judgment Day. Direct hit. Monster is so cool though. I'm really happy. One more game, just one more game. The fatal last words. Oh, 
Ah, just go to that fifth in. So cock it up. Take it easy. I'll be back.